Our next speaker, Mr. Ahmad Al Azmi, Energy and Renewable Energy Specialist, uh, Private Sector Projects Department at the Ministry of Electricity, Water, Kuwait. Speaking on today's topic, future energy in Kuwait. Over to you, sir. Uh, hi, uh, everyone, and thank you for having me today with you, and thank you for this uh, beautiful uh, coordination. I would like to introduce myself first. I'm Njili Ahmed Al Azmi. Uh, I'm from the Ministry of Electricity, Water, and Renewable Energy, uh, Kuwait. And uh, well, this is uh, my first time with the WSP uh, summit. I uh, hope uh, uh, I can do uh, very well. Uh, well, uh, today uh, I will speak about uh, our uh, projects in, in Kuwait. Uh, uh, Kuwait has been uh, uh, developing re renewable energy since uh, uh, 2012, uh, when uh, late Amir Sabah Ahmed Jabir Sabah uh, declared uh, Kuwait's uh, renewable vision, uh, which is 15% from the uh, power demand. Uh, that comes from renewable energy by 2030. So <clears throat> a master plan was initiated uh, by Kisser Kuwait Institute for Scientific and Research uh, to, to build a Shigaya complex or Shigaya park. Uh, right now, uh, phase one, which is a uh, small scale, was, uh, is fully... Is fully um, is fully uh, operate, uh, operated. Uh, it consists of uh, three different technologies, uh, PV, photovoltaic, wind, and CSP, concentrated solar uh, power with uh, 10 hours uh, thermal storage. Uh, right now, uh, we are on the uh, second phase, which is Shigaya 2 plus 3. Uh, it will be uh, around 3,500 megawatts. Uh, this uh, uh, size of the project will consist of several technologies. Uh, I believe uh, uh, PV, wind, and CSV, uh, including uh, some other storages. It depends on the studies and uh, design. Uh, this is related to the mega projects. Uh, we have more than 70 uh, uh, PV rooftop uh, above the governmental uh, buildings. Uh, some of them is already done, some of them uh, on the way. Uh, uh, and we have uh, a program that uh, it's being finishing right now uh, 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 this year, uh, which is uh, uh, a PV uh, rooftop incentive program for the residential sector, for uh, citizenships. Uh, <clears throat> this, this program can, can give you up to 70% uh, on the electricity bill. Uh, if you install uh, PV. Uh, as I said, it's on the finishing phase uh, and uh, we are, we are uh, uh, expecting to be finished uh, before the end of this uh, uh, year. That's so far about Kuwait. And uh, if you have questions uh, regarding uh, anything related to Kuwait for the power uh, or renewable energy, I will be very glad uh, to answer. Thank you. Okay, so a few questions. Uh, what are the latest good projects going to come for the renewable uh, sector, you know, because there are so many people interested in Kuwait, uh, very young uh, population and, you know, good investment opportunities. What do you think about that, Amr? I think it's very great opportunity right now for the uh, the new uh, upcoming uh, mega project, renewable me mega project in Kuwait, which is Shigaya two plus three. It's around uh, three thousand five hundred uh, megawatt. It's a very big uh, project. Uh, 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 it consists uh, of several technologies, and. Uh, this is the biggest apple uh, of renewable right now that we have in Kuwait. And uh, this project, uh, <laughs> I think it will be uh, separated to packages, not just one package, but it depends on the transaction advisor and, and, uh, and the team, uh, how do they brainstorm it? Uh, uh, so it's a very good opportunity for this uh, project. Plus the... Uh, 
uh, the 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 uh, PV rooftop uh, incentive uh, uh, program. This is uh, uh, support uh, around 500 megawatt. So it's very good for the companies, uh, manufacturers, contractors, uh, manufacturers of uh, inverters, uh, PV. It's very good opportunity to to uh, uh, to to take a step forward with this uh, program, especially the end of this year if it's. Uh, 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 fully implemented, it will be a, a very great opportunity for those uh, type of uh, companies. Uh, we have a question from Mr. Akshay Datar. What can you tell us about Kuwait's plans around energy efficiency? Well, uh, uh, in energy efficiency, Kuwait is planning to reduce uh, the energy consumption around uh, 30%. So uh, we have uh, uh, several uh, things uh, rela uh, related to the energy efficiency. We have uh, the ministerial decree 126 over, uh, over 2018. Uh, this is uh, can uh, this is uh, this is this de decree uh, supports the energy efficiency and gives the code about uh, the usage of the new. Uh, uh, equipments in the houses, uh, uh, the insulations, uh, everything. Now it's being updated to the new version. Uh, the committee has started and uh, they are doing the updated uh, version for this uh, 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 energy efficiency uh, code. Uh, this is what, what is related to energy efficiency in the ministry. So as well as... Uh, the, the, the code itself uh, support uh, the, the new governmental uh, buildings to, to install uh, uh, renewable energy uh, on, on, on their uh, rooftop. So uh, I think uh, this is so far what I have about uh, energy efficiency uh, in Kuwait. Okay, next question. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> What's your strategy for renewable integration in Kuwait? Do you plan peakers or BESS from Mr. Thomas? Would you repeat the question again, please? Yeah. What is your strategy for renewable integration in Kuwait? <coughs> yeah, uh, for, for the, for the uh, renewable integration, uh, I think the grid stability uh, is... Uh, is very important uh, for us, uh, especially uh, if we install a big amount of renewable energy. Uh, I think uh, uh, a, di a dilemma or, or the topic number one that we have to consider is the uh, grid stability, especially if we, if that uh, uh, renewable mix has a, 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 a very high percentage of uh, PV uh, and, and wind, because of the fluctuation uh, output, power output, and, and the parabola uh, graph of the PV. Uh, I think uh, this uh, topic is very important to, to how to stabilize uh, the grid and keep it uh, safe because it's a, a national security issue. Uh, uh, what, I, what I think for now, uh, 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 trying to enhance the, the energy storage uh, on uh, on the next uh, mega project, I think this is the the uh, one of the good solutions that uh, we can go uh, with. This is beside the the control uh, center uh, regarding the the artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, and weather forecasting. How do they weather forecast and uh, translate it to to power? Uh, uh, but uh, in my point of view, uh, uh, energy storage is one of the solutions that uh, we can move uh, uh, forward uh, to it so we can get uh, uh, a more stable and more safe uh, 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 energy output and uh, uh, stabilized uh, grid. Okay, last question uh, from Deshaun Munshi. Uh, does Kuwait also have hydrogen generation and export plan like neighbors or generation of internal green objectives? Mm -hmm. 
Well, mm-hmm. I think yes, we have uh, about the green uh, hydrogen, but uh, I believe we need uh, most of the countries right now, they need uh, a clear uh, policies to be se- set up. Uh, uh, whether about the uh, production uh, uh, production policy, uh, 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 the transmission policy, and uh, the the selling policy, uh, if they want to export uh, the hydrogen, uh, uh, we are taking the whole picture right now, and I think uh, because I cannot uh, speak more details about this uh, topic right now because we are on the uh, 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 discussing the, the policy itself, how, how do we uh, get the uh, optimum uh, 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 policies for, for the hydrogen itself, whether blue or green. But uh, I'm, I'm related to green more. Uh, I think we, ha- we, we will need to, to uh, finish uh, uh, soon about our uh, green hydrogen policy. And we'll see how will that uh, go. Perhaps we can speak uh, maybe uh, with the next events, if anything finish, we can speak in, in details about it. So inshallah, Mr. Ahmad, we'll see you in Kuwait with our next event. Inshallah. We are very welcome anytime. Yeah. My favorite is Majboos, yes. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I will invite you for a Majboos. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you very much and for your time. Yes. And, uh, My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.